because our first guest is here to make a Christmas trifle that is sure to impress all of your family and friends, much like the hat on her head. Welcome back, Iron Chef and our very good friend, Kat Cora. Welcome back. Talk about adorable. It's I mean, very... If you think puppies are cute, look at this hat. That's impressive. It's very impressive. I, I really... think it is, too. Is that mistletoe? Yeah, it's mistletoe. Something and you like see how it's dangling, like, on my head. It's I may like, have to borrow know, that. Very I may jolly. have to borrow that. Very jolly. Yeah. It it's so yours. Jolly. I'm leaving it with you. Okay. All right. We're, we're color coordinated. We this always is do. Working, the Greeks you know. know. The, the Greeks two know. Greek girls the know. know. If you know, you know. And That's if you right. know trifle, you know. This is always a crowd pleaser, especially your I trifle. Why do people love a trifle? Well, I think it's because it's just so gorgeous. I mean, you see it, oh, and yeah. it's also just layered. It's like this beautiful layered parfait that's just, who doesn't love that? And you get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a of a holiday traditional. Just very simple raspberries, poached pears, oh, nice. pound cake, whipped cream, and of course a little booze. Like right. a little boozy. Mm -hmm. A little okay. boozy. But this, no. you're exactly right. You've yes. made trifle very easy. You're not making a creme anglaise no, or any sort of pudding. You don't have to do any of that. It's just making a really simple whipped cream. You're just going to layer your pound cake, and you can make it if you have time, or you can buy a really good one. Okay. And then basically, you're going to take a little amaretto. Oh, nice. And almond. you're just going to kind of sprinkle it in there. Oh, or pour it. Mm -hmm. um, Moisten that pound cake other. even more. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to take some of the poached pears, put it right in. These are white wine poached pears. Mm -hmm. And just kind of. So what does that mean? You poach them you in white wine. Poach them in white wine, and oh, when they're done, boozy. they're all like really yummy. And okay. but a lot of that wine cooks off, so you're not getting that triple booze. Although we have a couple of here. And then okay. what you're doing is you're taking this marsala. Now we know this. We were laughing earlier. This is like communion wine. It's really sweet and yummy. It's Greek communion wine. It, it does smell like it or and taste like it. Also and known then, as Mavrodafni. Mavrodafni. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna just. Take that marsala. You could actually add any little thing. If you have cognac or something, you nice. can just dress yeah. it with a little of that. Just macerate them some. Oh, that's beautiful. And then take the raspberries right on the top. Put a little bit. You're doing this in three. So you have that and then a little bit of whipped cream. And then you're just layering. So you're basically just layering everything. So take a little bit of this beautiful whipped cream. Kind of, you know, spread it around the edge so it looks really pretty against the glass that you One have the, here. Yeah, exactly. One of the things about trifle is you want to make sure you have a glass container because you yes. want to see that You want to see this beautiful. And you can make the individuals like we made mm. for you guys, yeah. too. So and make nice. these really crowd The raspberry is key. Like, I feel like I that knew. raspberry not, gives that little bit of tart with the sweet, and it's just perfect. And you kind of need Whipped that with, is. yeah, you kind of need that with all of the pound cake and the cream. Yeah. You need that tartness to kind of break mm. through that. So, yep. again, you're just going right in with some of the layering. And, you and Kat, as you, oh, go ahead, Deb. One Sorry. of my favorite things about this is, and I know Cameron's going to appreciate this as well, oh. uh, there is a sugar that is missing. Ugh. There's no what? sugar in yes. here. Yes. Nope. Look, we're not we adding sugar. sugar. You're only adding a little bit into, into the, the whipped into the whipped cream. That's it. So the sweetness all comes go. from the fruit. That's pretty good. And did you make the whipped cream cat? Because it you doesn't taste like Cool Whip. No, it's not. It's not Cool Whip. But you could use you Cool could Whip. You could do that. I'm not gonna. Hey, I'm not gonna diss some Cool Whip now. Oh, I'm no, not gonna I take away cool from whip. that. No, people <laughs> love it. But you can do to make it delicious and pretty and happy. That's it. That's what I. That's kind of how I feel. But we did make this, okay. and it's very easy. It's basically just cream and can, I use confectioner sugar because yeah. when you use granulated sugar, it tends to get a little grainy. Mm. You okay. can taste those grains yeah, that's in there. True. Hey, Kat, tell us about some of your family's holiday traditions. I know you've got some great ones. Uh, we have a lot of them. So I love, we love to get pajamas, new pajamas every oh, year. No, and everybody so dresses sweet. up and we have a lot of fun. And we always dress the, we have a little decorating party where everybody's getting together and decorating Look the tree the together. Oh. There you have Can we pour some more of this on there? Look, more hats. Pour a little on the edges. I'll pour more hats, Kat. What's that? Are you oh, yeah. I know. I love hats. Okay. So <laughs> we have all, everybody has a hat in our house. So when you're decorating, you wear a hat. Oh. That's just kind of a <laughs> Christmas <laughs> holiday tradition. So we all wear hats. We all dress up. We're all together, and we just we love to eat and cook together. And very I also Greek. that's very Greek. Very I mean, you just Greek. went ahead. <laughs> I know. Can we talk about? She's like, can I drink my cake? Oh, wow. It is the she holidays. Likes, look at these. Okay. So these are great, like little wreaths. These are look basically this, like crispy, like marshmallow. You take your favorite cornflake cereal, mm -hmm. and you just make a little wreath out of them and kind of decorate them. But what that's going to be? Right this here. is like a Christmas tree cupcake, and then a candy cane kiss cookie, like a sugar cookie. And then I got to tell you about my new caviar. Tell me. This is my caviar, my line. 
Like, yeah. I just oh, did a collaboration no, wow. with some ladies in California. So it's a woman-owned company, too. California Caviar. I just started my own line called Creme by Cat Cora. Oh. It is sustainable. Mm. Oh, no. It is also American Gosh. sturgeon. Delicious. It it's is delicious. farmed, and we oh. basically take that, Love and it, it is buttery and delicious. So and it's, what I want to mm. do is make caviar more approachable, mm -hmm. more affordable. Mm. You can go to my website at catcora.com and get all the caviar you want. And oh. it, it may is be those things, but it's delicious. also absolutely delicious. Yeah. So yeah. well so done. Much. Well Thank done. You. Oh yeah. my gosh, yeah, well, Christmas, like look this. at these, and little Christmas trees. You just take a little piping and you just mm. pipe on little cupcakes and put a little mm. fun star. Now you can get all of it these little so decorative fancy. things. Yeah. You. While I serve this trifle for us, yes. can we talk about a major milestone that you just celebrated with your grandma? So sweet. So our grandmother, Marilyn, she just turned 95. Wow. We had everybody there. All the kids were there. All of our six, you know, she has nine grandsons. My so God. all the grandsons were there. Aww. So great grandson, you know, Aww. great grandmother, yeah. grandmother, mother. We had all of these Aww. birthdays. It was so wonderful around Thanksgiving. Wow. My father-in-law turned, you know, he turned 73. My mom turned 70. Aww. She turned 95. So we just had a big celebration. So four generations. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Four yeah. generations. Beautiful. It's so amazing. That's and that's what, that's what the holidays is. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. That's what this is about, right? The holidays about are all love. about family and your amazing trifle. You know what else the holidays are about? Sharing some cookies. <laughs> She's got a little extra happiness on top of that yeah. that she poured on. Cat, why oh don't you pass God. that cookie tray over here, too? Oh, I mean, you guys, I mean, I'm glad you have it. I'm glad you have it. What's going on here? Pass these around, everybody. Gosh. This recipe this is, so good. is going to be it's featured in our countdown to Christmas digital cookbook, <laughs> which you can download at hallmarkchannel.com and always keep up with Kat so on her social media at Kat Cora. You are the mm. best, Kat. Thank you.